G'day guys, this is Nick at stridewise.com. Uh, normally in Brooklyn, New York, but I've come down to Nashville, Tennessee to film a video with the gracious, very kind, very talented, very brilliant cobbler, and also fellow YouTube boot guy, uh, Trenton of Trenton Heath. G'day, mate. Hey, thanks for having me. I really appreciate well, it. Well, thanks for having me. We're, we're actually in Trenton's, uh, what do you call it, cobbler place? Yeah, so we're actually filming this in our shop uh, here just outside of our shop. shop. That yeah. sh shows how much of a dainty <laughs> Manhattanite I am. Yeah, what do you know, call a place where you do actual work? It's a workshop. So uh, we are here today. Uh, make sure, by the way, before you keep going, uh, you absolutely go and check out Trenton and Heath's uh, YouTube channel. It's fantastic, it's gigantic. They are actual cobblers. They put together shoes. They know so many intricate, fascinating things about shoes. Today, we are talking about the best American boot brands. Uh, you may have been tipped off from my good day earlier that I am in fact not American, but I do live in America. I've been here for almost 10 years and I absolutely love America the way only an immigrant can. I'm very, very big fan of it and I'd love to buy American whenever possible. And I'm obviously entranced and uh, enthralled by the world of American work boots, which, which are as American as apple very pie <laughs> and freedom and all these sorts of things. Yeah, America's been turning out great boots for years now. And I think it's one of the things that's kind of held steady. So many companies have left America to take their boots elsewhere. And I feel like in the US, there's still so many boot brands that, you know, a few of these, some of their boots are made in the US and others they've outsourced, but they still make a lot of their boots in the US. And then the other half, they are still making their boots in America. We went back and forth a bit on this because companies like uh, like Thoroughgood, spoiler, Thoroughgood is one of them. Thoroughgood, like this boot is made in the US, but some of their boots are not made in the US. So it was a little bit tough to decide as to uh, if this is an American work boot brand or not. Um, it's American owned, but not all the boots are made in America, right? So we've, we've split the list down the middle. All right, so first up, do you wanna start us off? What's the, what's the, the first off. brand we wanna do? Yeah. All made in America. So the first brand is going to be Alden Shoe Company. Um, now, Alden, we have as the best high-end boot category. Uh, it was started in 1884 by Charles Alden. Um, it is the longest continuously made uh, shoe boot company in the northeastern part of the United States. And they're just, they continue to put out terrific quality boots. During the middle of the 20th century, they actually got into more orthopedic uh, types of boots as well. And the good thing about this brand is if you have foot issues, um, a lot of podiatrists actually uh, refer their customers to a lot of Alden shoes because they fit so well on the foot and um, it's definitely a brand to look at. But we've worked on a lot of these over the years and the quality of them continues to be really, really good. Uh, the leathers, especially on, and they're kind of synonymous with um, the Shell Cordovan on a lot of their shoes, a lot of their boots. This, so this is this is the the indie, but it's not the indie. It's yeah. like the same style, but it's a it's a different leather, different sole. Um, but uh, I've got I've got some shots of uh, my old indies uh, up in New York. Um, and whenever you're wearing the old Indies, like you, you feel like Indiana Jones is, is fantastic. Yeah. You just want to touch Nazi. <laughs> At number two, we have the best value boot, and that goes to Parkhurst. Yeah, Parkhurst. Parkhurst is, uh, it's not very well known, uh, honestly. It's, it's still a very, very new company. It was founded in 2018, I think it was. Um, but they are all made in Northern New York State, not far from Buffalo. And uh, I like them a lot. The things that really stand out about Parkhurst is uh, number one, like the, the value, like the very, very good value shoes. And it's got like a day night outsole. It's not an imitation day night, it's day night, which you, I, I can't think of any of the time I've seen a day night sole on a boot under 300 bucks. Um, it's, it's whole wing chrome XL, like American leather, a fully leather line. Uh, it's got a really nice, flexible uh, split reverse welt here, which is like an extra water resistant type of Goodyear welt. The most popular boots from Parkhurst, probably the Allen. They have the most varieties of the Allen boot. I have a green one uh, made from Kudu Antelope up in New York. Those ones are about $330-ish. Um, you've also got plenty of other Allen, uh, Allen boots that are under $300, $290. And this one here is the Delaware. 298 bucks. So uh, yeah, I think it's a really good brand. Uh, all made in America, American owned, pretty new company, but uh, I think it's got some legs. It'll be around for a while, very good value. All right, number three in the uh, best American boot brands uh, is the most durable. And we actually went back and, we went back and forth on this one a lot. We kind of bickered a little bit because for the toughest American boots, uh, I really like White's boots. Uh, Nick's are also really good yep. and Trenton felt the same way. We, we just, we couldn't decide which one to use. And 
we just decided to give, give it to Nick's and White. Yeah, yeah. Nick's and White's, uh, they both tie yep. for the toughest American boot brands. Um, and uh, Trans actually worked closely with these, with these boots. Yeah. You're a big fan of them, right? Yeah, I am. So I've worked on a lot of Nick's and White's boots. So Heath and I actually get a lot of questions and emails from you guys that actually use your boots. So guys that are out on construction sites, guys that are you know doing electrical work, your your firemen up in the you know forest. And these boots are definitely ones that I would recommend to you guys. Um, you have a lot of the heritage line boots like these, but if you're looking for true durability, I don't think you can go wrong with Nick's boots or White's boots. Um, they have a long heritage of building the most indestructible boots for you guys that truly use your boots for work. Both of their boots can also be customized. So if you're needing steel toes, if you're needing composite toe uh, protection, they can put um, metal protection, I believe, in the bottoms. The, the uppers are extremely durable. The soles are extremely durable. Their stitches are fireproof. So these two brands are extremely similar. And like you said, it was hard for us to choose just one, but it's definitely a brand that we've worked, Heath and I have worked on and they are just, the build quality is amazing. And it's definitely a boot. If you're really needing a work boot, it's, a, it's two brands that I would look at. Okay, so for number four, we have the most customizable boot. And again, these are boot brands that are made completely in the United States. So what do we have? We got uh, Wesco. Wesco for number four, the most customizable boot brand in the US. Uh, they were founded in 1918. They're also called West Coast uh, Boot Company or Shoe Company. Um, now we did just say that like brands like Nick's and White's are customizable and they're pretty customizable. Like you can pick obviously from different letters. Uh, also there's like two different lasts all the time. Sometimes like two different shaft heights, like six and eight inches. With Westco, they have this sort of a plugin on their website where you can customize the boots so thoroughly that there are over 300 billion combinations you can come up with with their boots. So if you get something like the Hendrick boot, which is like a pretty popular option, you can choose from like one of four different shaft heights. It's like a six and six, seven, yeah. eight, ten, I think it is. Um, you've got 11 different leathers you can pick from. Um, there's a, a bunch of different types of stitching as well. You can get insulation and various different weights of insulation if you want to do that. There are 10 different soles, including three types of Vibram Raptor soles, which are really, really good for the snow and the ice and stuff. Like it's there are plenty of boot brands out there that let you customize it a bit. Like even Parkhurst has like two different options for uh, extra arch support. But Wesco, yeah, there are 300 billion, do a different level. <laughs> 300 billion types of stuff. So yeah, it's, it's really, really solid. Obviously you have to wait like a fair amount of time to get them. Uh, and they are, they are expensive, like north of 600 bucks. But no one, no one's ever regretted getting Wesco boots. You, yeah. You've worked on them a bit, haven't you? Yeah, so I've worked on several pairs of Wesco boots that customers have sent in to us. And the, the overall build quality, the materials, we were very impressed with them. And the last category that we have in our top five completely made in the, in the United States boots is the best leathers. And the award winner for that one goes to Truman Boot Company. Yeah, Truman Boot Company, they were founded in uh, rural Pennsylvania in 2014. Uh, and they are, th there's like, they're, they're very, very cool boots, right? Like, but Truman, throughout the years, a lot of, I've seen a lot of new boot brands, but Truman is stuck with me because they have the coolest leathers. So like, I'm giving like the coolest leathers. Um, they have everything from, uh, over the years, like Moose Rough Out. They had a black kudu. They had a shrunken bison. Um, they've had all these different types of boots. Probably their most popular leather is the Rambler leather which typically comes in like a, it's sort of an orangey brown, but they've got a bunch of other colors, including a burgundy one, you can get like a burgundy boots made from this leather. This one here is, uh, I believe it's their most popular boot. This is the Java Wax Flesh. It's up there among the most popular boots. This one's a little bit less exciting, yes, but it is an exclusive vegetable tanned rough out from Hoeing Leather Company, which is in Chicago. Like I think it's America's most beloved tannery, I think. Um, and it's like a so dark brown, it's almost black. So this is pretty cool. It ages very nicely as well. It's very similar to White's and Nick's boots. Um, the soles, the, the, the heels, everything on it, very well constructed. Uh, definitely a good quality boot. And absolutely, if you're one that you, you know, like you said, that you like to be able to customize and have a big option when it comes to uppers. Uh, yeah, definitely it's a boot that I don't think you'd be disappointed with it all. So that's our top five all American boot brands, American owned, made in America, every boot made in the United States. <laughs> now we're gonna go to the next section, which is American boot companies that make many of their boots in America, but not quite technically 100% of them, but they're still very good options if you're looking for an American made boot. Uh, what's the first one, Trent? So the category that we chose for best overall 
best boot in this category, we're gonna have to give it to Red Wing. Red Wing is just the brand that, I mean, so many boot aficionados know out there. It's been around for over 100 years. It originally was started for the coal miners and, and the heart, you know, the, the conditions that they had to operate in. And one of the boots that has become just an absolute gold standard for them is the Iron Ranger. Most of the Heritage line are still made here in the United States, and then most of their more technical work boot types have been outsourced, right? Yeah, we, we went back and forth on this because like, the, so there's Red Wing, and I, maybe it's called Red Wing Work Boots, so there's Red Wing, and then there's Red Wing Heritage. And so Red Wing Heritage, uh, all of them, they're, they're all made in uh, Minnesota, right? So that includes uh, the Iron Ranger. Uh, this is, I got this as well. This is like my Red Wing Rovers in Hawthorne Muleskinner. Uh, the leather's from the United States, the boots are made in the United States. And I was sort of thinking, I, I kind of consider Red Wing Heritage as its own company, which a lot of other yeah. guys do. But it isn't technically like it's the same company as the work boot company and Red Wing work boots. They're mostly made in Asia. But if you go to Red Wing Heritage, uh, yeah, all of Red Wing Heritage boots are made in the US. The Iron Ranger, like Trent said, is the most popular boot, um, the most well-known, most iconic boot from Red Wing. Um, and definitely a good thing about all of the Red Wing, especially the ones made in America, they're all uh, refurbishable. So not only can you send it back to their factory, you could also take it to your local shoe cobbler. Um, they're they're built and made to last for years and years. So it's definitely a very high quality boot. Yeah, they're, they're iconic as all hell. Like everyone's first boot is a red <laughs> All right, number seven on the list is Thorogood. Uh, Weinbrenner Shoe Company was established in the 1890s and Thorogood is actually a brand within Weinbrenner. So it's not actually its own company. And uh, Weinbrenner, it was like a maker of like a lot of uh, military boots and so on. Thorogood made its first appearance in 1918 and it quickly became like the prominent, like the most prominent brand of Weinbrenner. An interesting fact about Thorogood is that they're a very like pro-union company. Like the workers first unionized there in 1943 and in 2000 the employees took ownership of the company as part of an employee stock ownership plan. So it's like a very like kind of pro-working man type aspect of the company. So it gets a lot of support in the US for that reason. They're currently headquartered in Wisconsin. 65% of Thorogood's boots are made in the United States, including the Thorogood Mokto, which is their most popular one. It's their most popular one. It's, it's typically, I, I find a lot of guys find that it is like the best balance between heritage style boot, which some might call fashion style <laughs> boot, and actual work boot, yeah. right? So this actually looks really cool. It's a nice mock toe. It's not totally dissimilar from a, a mock toe from Red Wing or something, but it has more uh, sort of dimensions that make it work friendly. And by that, I mean, the sole is resistant to a certain degree of electrical shock. Um, there's a lot of really nice, uh, there's a lot of going on in the sole, like in the insole, there's a removable foam insert that has really, really good shock absorption. Um, it's like certified by some OSHA uh, bodies yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for it. So a lot of guys, like it, of all the boots that I've reviewed on my channel, I've done a ton of them, Thorogood typically is the one where like, you know, electricians, linemen, yep. that kind of stuff, they're like going, yeah, Thorogood is never failing. And we get a lot of Thorogood boots. Because they get wet through they them, do. they destroy them. Yep. Okay, so the next boot we have on the list is Chippewa. So Chippewa was founded in 1901 by German immigrants in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. Uh, that town was a burgeoning logging town and they create a boot that would help um, serve the purpose needed for a lot of the loggers in that area. But the thing with Chippewa is like they used to say handcrafted in the US um, and then it got a bit tricky because like some of the parts came from overseas but they were assembled in the US. Because so they were using handcrafted. Yeah, the, the, the made point. in the USA thing got a bit got a bit funny. So um, they, they aren't quite as loudly made in the US. But I, I, I believe this boot is still made in the US. This is a the service boot. Isn't yeah. It? Uh, yeah. So definitely a boot to look at. Um, you know, Heath and I resold quite a few of these as well. And like you said, the overall build quality is really good um, so you're, it's definitely not a boot for that $300 price range that you're gonna be disappointed in at all. Number nine on this list and this is number four I guess in this section of uh, boots that are made in the United States. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Thursday boot company Vanguard for this one. The reason I want to draw attention to this one is that uh, most of Thursday's boots are made uh, in Mexico and they're like very inexpensive. They cost $199. They're really, really good value. I'm a fan of them. And a lot of people don't know that they have made in America boots as well. It's the Vanguard is this one. They've got the logger as well, it's eight inches tall. And uh, the Vanguard is, I, I think it's probably the best value American made boot is $265. And like everything here is made in the US. So while some companies, um, they'll like ship parts from overseas and assemble it in the US, um, like the eyelets are made here, the laces are made here, uh, even the pour on, like the shock absorbing pour on, 
in the sole is made in the United States, so it has a slightly different feeling to their other porn they have in the other uh, Thursday boots. So they really like they really dedicate themselves to making a really American American boot. And the Vanguard, two hundred sixty-five bucks, probably the best value, if not like one of the best value easily. And number 10, the final boot company on this list, the shoe company actually is Allen Edmonds. Not 100% made in the US, but like mostly made in the US in, uh, where is it? Port Washington. Port Washington, Wisconsin. Okay. Yeah. So you've worked with a lot of Allen Edmonds. We work with so many Allen Edmonds here at our shop. Um, people from all over the world send us their Allen Edmonds so I can do these in my sleep. So again, Allen Edmonds as a whole are still really well-made boots and shoes. Uh, they have been getting some quality control uh, comments and issues that have arisen lately because it has been bought and sold several times by other companies. But as a whole, Allen Edmonds are still really good boots and shoes. Uh, I own the Daltons. I think you said you own the Higgins Mill. Yeah, this is the Higgins Mill yeah, here, right? Here. I've got this in Chrome XL and I've also got the Sullivan Street as well. And I've done like both reviews uh, on this channel. Yeah, um, and yeah. There, there's so many different options you can get for their boots as well. They're 360 degree welted boots. Uh, they come, they can, you can get them with day nights, you can get them with leather, you can get them with uh, oiled leather soles. Yeah, you can also get them in uh, shell cordovan leather, calf skin. So there's a lot of different options you can also do for their boots. If you're looking for just a boot or a shoe that's synonymous with America as a whole, uh, you can't go wrong with Allen Edmonds. Yeah. I, I still think, even though with the, some of the QC issues that have come up lately, it's still a shoe that you, or a boot that you will keep for a long time. Yeah, it's a real institution and it's worth taking a look at. And um, that's it. We gotta wrap this up. Okay. All right, thank you very much for your time. Oh, I appreciate your it. Workshop. Yeah. Um, make absolutely certainly subscribe to Trenton and Heath. They're absolutely fantastic. Uh, they got uh, way more subscribers than me and they deserve to. <laughs> um, and uh, that's it. Uh, the full written review, by the way, is in the description below and make sure to subscribe here as well.